Okay, so before I get too far into this thing or whatever, um, today I'm making <coughs> the choke meal. Excuse me, y'all. This seasoning is killing me. But anyhow, I'm going to make some fried oyster mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You can fry whatever kind you like. That's what I'm choosing to fry. I'm going to use half of the lemon fish fry. I'm going to use the salted dog fish, fish fry. I'm not, not necessarily half. I just took some from each pack and added them to my own bowl with some cayenne pepper because I like a little heat. So I'm going to mix that in, right? And then I'm going to use a little hemp milk or whatever. I'm sweetening. I'm going to use a little of this into a separate bowl. So it can be my wet base for my mushrooms. I am going to season this hemp milk with some garlic powder with parsley flakes because I want to. There's no salt in this. This is garlic powder. So you can be happy. Okay, you understand now? I'm gonna also add some onion powder to this same wet mixture. Same thing because there's no salt. A little as much as you like, right? I'm gonna mix that up. I am going to put some Old Bay in here. Now, I believe this has salt. Let me make sure for us. Mm-hmm. It says that it has 140 milligrams, I guess, per serving. A fourth of a teaspoon is a serving, so that'll be how much we'll put in here. One-fourth of a teaspoon. Let me see what we got going on. Mm-hmm. Let's just do that. For the teaspoon. That's it. That's all. Okay. Now I'm going to whip this thing up. Let's go ahead and get this thing forked. You know you already got dishes to wash. You're just cooking. Mmm. Mix everybody in really, really good. Okay. Mmm. It's going to be good, bro. You see it? I'm going to dip the mushrooms into the wet mixture, into the cornmeal mixture, and into this pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see it. This part here, I'm using just regular um, canola oil. I'm, I got it on medium, low, or whatever, coming up to temperature or whatever. And I'm going to fry the mushrooms there. This one here is my double boiler. I'm going to make some broccolini, right? And to the broccolini, I'm going to add a few sliced um, red bell peppers. I'm going to saute the bell peppers in. And since um, somebody didn't tell me to cook the asparagus I bought, I only have a few couple of pieces there in here that I'm going to add to it. Mm. Okay, so here we are. So we're just going to wait till the grease get hot enough. I'm going to cook one mushroom as a sample because the cook is what? Never hungry. Okay, so in the meantime, Y'all just hang tight or whatever. This is what we cooking today. Broccolini with peppers and asparagus and fried mushrooms. Hang tight. Okay. Let's check on the oil. I may have to increase the heat since I'm finished with all of my other doodads and whatnot. To check the oil, I'm just going to pinch up a little of the cornmeal mixture and drop it down into the, the heating grease. If it started frying and, and acting up, that means it's about ready. But this thing ain't ready, so what else gonna do? We gonna turn him on up. And if need be, we'll turn him down when it start cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put the mushrooms in until I absolutely know I'm going from wet to dry because mushrooms absorb lots of water. Keep that in mind when you cook your mushrooms. So while we wait, I guess I'll go ahead and put all my seasoned spices up. You know, save me some time down the line because if you clean as you go, you won't have nothing left at the end. But, let me, what the devil, y'all see that cornmeal and stuff sticking to my glass? I know you lag. Now let me get a sip. Mm. I'm off tomorrow.
So mind your own self business, okay? This is my dinner, and I can do it because I want to, and I am. The water is boiling. It's a double boiler. Broccolini prepared and ready to go. Let's put the lid on it. I'm going to set a timer for seven minutes because that's how long I think it'll take to get it. Because I'm going to finish it in a saute in the end. But anyhow, all I really came here to show y'all and talk to y'all about is these fried mushrooms. But if you in the show, you in the show. Okay? Now, I'm going to take y'all, give y'all a little break, put my stuff up. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Hang on. Okay, just for the sake of sample, I'll use a small piece. I am going to drop him down into my wet mixture. Make sure he get wet on all sides. Yes. We got to make sure the seasoning is enough, right? Dip, 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 drip. Okay, we don't want him too wet before the dry mix. Boom, just like that. Shake him around in that. Make sure you fully coat him. Mm -hmm. Now, time to drop him in there so we can get us a sample, y'all. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Going in. First, he already floating, y'all. He better be good, too, bro. We're going to cook him till he golden brown, which will probably be one to two minutes. It does not take long to fry these mushrooms. Let me wash my hand. Hang tight. I got two of them. So I'm going to use the clean one to wash this one, just in case y'all don't know how to wash your hands. Don't forget your soap. He's making some noise. But something is telling me to get this straining spoon and flip him over and see what's happening other than noise. He's still cooking this though. Woohoo! And in case y'all didn't know, I got a plate lined with paper towel waiting. Oh, it's gonna be good, bro. Show them. Mm -hmm. So if the seasoning level is right. I'll go ahead and continue cooking, frying them. If you do not want to fry them, I'm sure that this recipe would be delicious in an air fryer. I just can't tell you at this point because I've never tried it, but not too long in that air fryer, that thing really worked. At least the one I have do. But anyhow, I guess I should put this other piece of bell pepper in a bag or in the freezer. Which way y'all do y'all's? Mmm. Let's check the mushroom again. I'm so sorry. Boy, when I get down on this, who gonna sleep like they ain't never slept before after that good old bath and I? Me? Mm -hmm. It's almost done, cause it's getting good color. I'm gonna take it out, then I'm gonna show it to you. Sit him over there cooling and then we'll give y'all a break while I go ahead and prepare everybody else and put in it. But first I'm gonna pull him out so I can show y'all the color we gonna use gonna get. Mm. Let me show you. Me I'll show you. He's ready. This is my sample. And I'm sure y'all don't need to see me sample it. Okay. My sample y'all. Nice and golden. Okay. Oh yes. I'm going to take my oil off and wait a minute. I got to taste it and make sure the salt level is right so I can't keep that there. So I guess y'all can see the sample. Yeah? Mm-hmm. To pick him up because he's fresh out the grease. Ooh. Y'all. Mm. He's still steaming a little too much. Hold on. Let me check the broccolini before I start eating. Lord Jesus, put that back. Oh, yes. 
pork tender. I'm gonna just take the whole thing off. Hold on. Woo! We doing too much. Hold on, y'all. Let me get another skillet, a larger skillet, so I can start some oil. Hold on. I drew I got one of my favorite skillets because it's so big and high side. We are gonna put a little water where the arrow go. Extra virgin olive oil, organic, right in here. Okay. I probably should have put some onion in here, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Let's let that heat up. When it heat up, while we wait for it to heat, well, let's get that sound. Good, bro. Mm. Mm -hmm. My God, today. <laughs> Woo. Super excited. I took the top off the broccolini to stop the steam from doing too much. But yeah, I'm going to put the rest of these in here. I'm going to eat it. Mm. Okay, let's put the pebbles and asparagus in this pan. See that? Mm -hmm. I will season everybody after I put the broccoli in. We're going to let that cook one or two minutes. I ain't supposed to be showing y'all this quick and easy. But anyhow, we are. Hold on, let me get this seasoning. Okay. I decided lemon pepper is what I'm going to use for the vegetables. The broccoli is right in there with it. Right? Hmm. The cook is what? Keep on playing with it. I'm going to spread them down in one layer. Mmm. Never. No, you lying. Mm, mm, mm. A little as much as you like. Okay. It looks like enough for me. Now all I'm going to do is turn the fire off on this right here side, bitch. Me and show you whole type. I'm going to turn the fire off. So good. Mm -hmm. The color of my plate, y'all. Yes. You just let that make some noise. Let's put the oil back on here because the mushrooms ain't going to take but a little quick second. Right? Make sure you turn those handles away from the outside for the little people that may be in your home. And also away from this heat source because if this get hot, how you gonna pick it up? To turn them away from the outside and away from the heat source. Now, let's put these mushrooms in here. Y'all hold. It's time for me to get busy so we can eat today. We is me. Okay? Oh. Come on, mushroom. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you one more time. It's dipped in the wet mix into the flour, cornmeal in this instance. Make sure you cover them up really well. Coat them really well with the dry before you drop him in the grease. We're gonna do all of the mushrooms. We don't have but like six to eight, but hey, we're gonna do them. And I'll be back to entertain y'all with my plate here in a minute. I'll be back. 